because of your experience and your knowledge um, with Salter McNeil and just and then on just who God has made you be and, and called you Betsy, what would be your wisdom when it comes to these race race riots and this, these tensions uh, for the white church. This is our work for certain. Um, this isn't the time to be calling all of your friends of color and asking them what to do. You have more than enough resources on the Grace Covenant page alone to start doing some of that internal work um, to lament and repent. Um, we, have, we have work to do. It's no one else's work but ours. Um, we really need to name some things. We need to sit um, in the truth of our history, and we really need to make amends for those things, but we can't do that if we're only willing to skirt things under the rug um, because we're uncomfortable because of how we feel. Um, we just, we have a lot of work to do without doing a lot of introspection and having um, real relationships. Like, I think that um, there's nothing wrong with joining a protest um, if that's something that's authentic to your life and your relationships. Um, you don't want to get on a bandwagon. I just I feel that there's a lot of inauthentic inauthenticity that goes along with that. Um, how we rally for people can look very different. Um, supporting Black-owned businesses and making that a priority. Um, understanding where your food comes from who benefits and who is being harmed. Um, like how involved are you in your community groups? Like how well do you know your neighbors? Um, especially neighbors who think differently from you. Um, how, how are you? How are you the hands and feet to Jesus on your block? Like who speaks into your life, who you give authority to, to speak truth to you is a big deal. Um, if you are only listening to um, white authors and theologians, um, those are not giving you a full, um, a full spectrum of what the gospel can be saying. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that every, every perspective has, has merit, <laughs> but um, who we introduce our ears and hearts and minds to speaks a lot to the outcomes of what our hands and feet will continue to, to pursue. I think that is one place that the white church can do some work or white people beyond the church can do some work is really um, understanding their own history and being willing to, to see the parts that aren't pretty and acknowledging them and not trying to just skirt away from them saying, well, it wasn't me. <laughs> it's like, well, whether it was me or not, like we still benefit a lot from generational um, injustices.